Alright, so you can see that once you've desoldered those, that tone arm is now completely free to come off. Okay, and that's the bearing mechanism. Now you can actually just replace this whole piece here, this tone arm. Now, while you're actually got this off, if it's just this tube here that's actually knackered and the rest of it's okay. Now, let me move the camera in a little bit. Can you see there's actually two screws there? Two little black screws. Now, if you take those screws out, this tube piece will come off here. It's at the, the actual tube will come off and um, you can just replace this tube part. If that's like snapped or bent or something like that, you can just replace that part. Right now, before you actually desolder the wires off the circuit board, what it's best to do is desolder these wires off of here and actually tape a bit of string or cotton around the wires, then pull it through. Okay. Now once you've pulled that through then, you'll pull your bit of cotton through with it and then tie the new cables of the new tone arm onto that and then you can just pull it straight back through again and then you don't have to thread the wires through. Now, they're not really a pain to thread through but they can be a little bit fiddly. You can see they sort of go off to the side. They don't go directly through the centre and then they go off through a hole in the side then they go through the centre so you've got to try and sort of bend them round a the corner. And they are a bit fiddly but they're not a complete nightmare to get in. So once you've actually got the wires in, you can put the tone arm back in place. Um, there's only real one way this can actually go back in, so uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. It just drops back into place. Right now, before you screw the two screws back in the hole which I showed you earlier, you need to pull these little wires through. Because if you can see, we've put the tone arm in, but you can see the wires are bunched up back there, and that's actually going to stop the tone arm from moving properly. So you need to make sure you give these wires a little pull, and I don't mean yank them, just give them a little pull just to pull them back into place. Well, now once you've soldered these wires back on, you can put this circuit board back on. Now don't forget the little earth strap that goes around there. Now the best thing to do is to put the long screw through the earth strap, then put it through the circuit board and use the screw to line it up with the circuit board and just push it in like that. Now, when you do this screw up, don't do it too tight because you can crack the circuit board. Right, now once you've got the circuit board back on, it's uh, time to put this little metal plate back on. So if you took this off, thread it back through. If you didn't, then uh, don't worry, just put it back into position. Now once you've got this metal plate back on, just uh, make sure it's the uh, right way round. And uh, put that back on, like that. And then just put in the two screws back in uh, that you took out. Right, now you just got to put the plastic piece back on the wire. Now, this shouldn't be too much of a pain, but it can be a bit fiddly at times. And once that's on, just got to put the two screws in there to hold that in. Like that. Now that's nice and tight. Okay, so now this is ready to go back into the uh, turntable. Right, now it's time to put the tone arm assembly back in to the faceplate. So, what you want to do is lift up the um, faceplate put the tone arm in something soft like the bean bag and first of all you want to thread the audio cables and the earth lead um, through the hole in the face plate where it goes now before you drop that in place don't forget the little earth lead that goes to the pitch fader goes through there as well okay just basically line it up with the hole it only goes in one way so you can't get it wrong I think everyone knows what way around it's meant to go anyway because if the tone arm was pointing across the back of the turntable I think you'd realise that something was wrong. Okay, so once that's in place now you want to put all the three screws back in. Right, now when you put the screws back into the tone arm assembly what you want to do is put one in and don't screw it all the way up just screw it in a little bit just so it's still loose and then put the other one in. Fucking thing in. Okay, just loosely and then put the third one in just loosely. Right, now once you've got all the three screws in, don't just do one up really tight and then move on to the next one. Do one up sort of tight so it's just finger tight and then move on to the next one and then do that one up until that one's just finger tight and then move on to the next one. So what you want to do is basically go round and progressively get tighter. Don't just do one up really tight straight away. Right, now once you've screwed this back in place, don't forget your little earth lead here that went onto the um, one end of the pitch fader. So put the screw back in for that. 
Okay, so now you just got to put this plastic piece back on, so feed the audio cables back through the hole and uh, just drop it in place like that. Don't actually drop it, but just um, get it lined up and just slot it into place. Right, now you want to put all the screws back in here now. Now, one thing about this plastic, it's very brittle, and I mean really brittle. So don't do the screws up too tightly because you'll just crack it. And it looks like somebody's beat me to it here. You can see that the corner of that's all cracked off. So be really careful when you put the screws back in. Now if you can't remember where the screws went, don't, don't forget you can rewind back to where I placed the markers on the screen so you can see where they are. Right, now next you can just put the bottom piece back on. Don't forget to thread the wires back through. And it's just a case of putting all the screws back in the bottom. And again, uh, there's a link in the description. It takes you to another video um, where I went into a bit more detail about these screws. So don't forget to check that out if you get confused. And once you've got all the screws back in, you can just go and screw the feet back on, like that. Right, and once you've got the feet back on the turntable, you can put it back on your desk. And uh, you can start to put all your bits back on, like your platter and your counterweight and everything. So start with the cartridge, and then your counterweight, and then your platter. In my case, a piece of paper, and your slip mat. Job done. So there you go. Uh, I hope this video has been a help. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything, uh, leave comments. Um, please do leave a comment, even if it's a bad one, just telling me how rubbish this tutorial was or how funny my accent is. I don't mind, just leave a comment. Um, I'll put in the description anything you might need to know, if you've got any problems you might run into or anything like that. Um, I'll leave it in the description. So uh, that's my phone ringing, so I've got to go. Thank you for watching, nice one.